All right, folks, this is uh, take two of the culinary experiment. Uh, the wind blew and knocked over the phone and everything. And somehow it stopped the thing from pausing. Basically, I've restarted the video. So um, I'm going to start from the beginning. I kind of already talked about this, but you didn't see that. I have uh, Holland House white cooked one. I use that with a lot of stuff. I had not used that in today's recipe, but uh, a lot of times what I'll do is when I get the minced garlic, I'll drain out the water, put some uh, uh, white cooking wine in there, let it marinate. I, I love, love using that. Uh, today's uh, culinary experiment is mahi-mahi stains on the grill, but I'm, I'm using the same method that you would use to do blue crab. So, um, I have a baking pan under here. I, I've added like about a bottle and a half of water, uh, less than an ounce of uh, vinegar. I put about a half can of uh, beer in there. And um, then it, I have a dish over here where I mix the Everglades seasoning, the Old Bay, and I put some um, this, this garlic powder in there. I kind of mixed it up. Uh, and um, with this uh, cooking sheet here, I sprayed this with the Publix olive oil spray. So it's kind of like in the process, I've already flipped it once, you know, flipped the phone too. Um, so I, I apologize. So, uh, so I, I've applied uh, the basting, basted it with both sides with uh, a little bit of melted butter that I, I pre-melted in the microwave. So now I'm just trying this mixture and See what happens. You know, I, I really don't know what to expect, but um, I, I was thinking about something different to do, and and this has kind of been on my mind. I, I do like uh, blue crabs, and I know it's not going to taste like a blue crab, but I thought steaming it might be a new way to. Uh, it might even be healthier, to be honest with you. Uh, but we're we're gonna see what happens, and I'll be right back to you. Thanks. So anyway, now I'm behind the camera. I'm just uh, chilling, uh, just waiting to see. Um, just stalling, killing time. But uh, tell me what you think. I mean, do you have, um, do you like creating culinary experiments or what have you? Uh, this is something I, I just figured, what the hell, you know. Um, I, I showed the package earlier, but since I lost the footage when the phone fell over, um, I have these two Mahi Mahi fillets that I got from uh, Publix. They were on sale this week for $7.99. They were frozen, so, I, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, if you're going to mess up, you might as well mess up, you know, at a lesser cost. So there was 12-ounce package, so assuming each, uh, there was two fillets, so I'm assuming each one basically weighed about um, six ounces, less the water weight once it, you know, thawed out. So, um they're, you know, we're just going through this and see what we come up with. And um, I would tell you my honest opinion. I like honestly, I originally I had high hopes. Now I'm, I'm kind of doubting myself, but we'll we'll see what happens. But um, then what I'm going to do here in the near future, I, I will I'll probably go buy um, some more of that Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I will um, I'm going to try and smoke. So some of these with, um, that was my neighbor beeping at me. God damn it. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, smoke these with some uh, apple wood. So the next batch, anyway. So I'll be right back. Sorry about the neighbor beeping. All right, I took a short break there to check on things and uh, make sure everything was good. Um, so I've, I've turned up the heat a little bit, trying to expedite the process. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this turns out. Who knows, but... Uh, this is what, to me, this is what cooking is all about. You experiment, you try new things. If you always repeat the same thing somebody else has already done, you know, you, you may not, you know, this could be a hit, some sensation, or it could be, a, a, you know, I could be your zero or, or a hero. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure this out soon. Chances are I won't be a hero, but, hey, Gordon Ramsay, take it easy on me, bro. Tick tock. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock.
I just flipped the two fillets, uh, sprinkled a little more seasoning on there. So I, I don't expect it's going to be too much longer, but um, hopefully, you know, we've come up with something pretty cool here. Anyway, we'll be back soon, folks. I just checked it, and she's moving along nicely. Uh, it'd probably do better if I didn't check it as often, but that's what I got to do because I don't know the exact time period to do it, you know, you know, steamy side and stuff. But uh, anyway, it's looking pretty good. So while I'm waiting, I just had this uh, thought come through my head. Um, when you're doing mahi-mahi on the grill or anything like that, skin on or skid off? skin off um you know i'm open to suggestions improvements so as i'm steaming it i i, I don't know maybe if i had left the skin on it might work out a little bit better but tell me your thoughts i'm open to uh, any advice thank you what i'm going to do now is i'm about to poke it with a fork see how much uh, resistance i get and when i poke the fillet so this is what we got taking a little look inside as the pans are almost uh, dry, They're not fully dry, but I'm going to just add a little bit of liquid, add a little bit more moisture to it, hopefully that'll uh, spruce it up just a tad bit, and uh, we're, I think we're getting close, we're getting close, I, I don't know if like mahi it's supposed to be a firm fish. I, it's been a long time since I've eaten it. I'm not going to lie to you. Or if it's supposed to be flaky. I, I think it's supposed to be like more of a firm fish. But I'll let you know here in a minute. If any of you all ever watched uh, Barbecue Pit Boys, they're they're funny as heck and they, they do really really good job on cooking and things of that nature they I, I know they have over a million followers i forget exact uh, quantity right now but they always had this one saying um uh, like something like uh pitmaster's uh privilege or what, what, something like that so this is my toast to you folks this is my privilege here and then a lot of times it refers to uh, just getting the first sample, the first bite, and, you know, and just basically teasing the audience. So this is what we're doing while we're killing time. Thank you. Anyway, folks, so uh, this is the first filet. I'm going to give it a sample. I'll be the guinea pig. Um, it's not the traditional mahi mahi fillets I'm used to seeing. I usually buy them fresh, but you know, for this experiment, for eight bucks, you know, who's going to go wrong? So let me see what happens here. I don't know; it doesn't look too bad. Let me take a sample here. Honestly, I was expecting to tell you it tastes awful or whatever, but it actually it has pretty good texture to it. Good flavor. Good, good little bite. Reminds me of a uh, when I was younger, like in the 80s, I worked in Newcastle, Delaware, and we would drive like, I don't know, 15, 20 miles away. Probably, that might be an exaggeration, probably like 10 miles away. To go to a supermarket, it was called Shoprite, that had steamed mako shark, and it was the best around. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. 
think that's probably like subliminally why why I wanted to do that. Hang tight. I'm gonna uh, just turn off the burners here. There goes the cooking wine. All right. Pitmaster's privilege. All right, so back to this my I'm liking it. Probably a little on the dry side. I may have gone too long with it. I was expecting it to be a little more uh, flaky, but that's just my uh, ignorance. But it actually tastes pretty good. So I'm going to judge myself honestly and fairly. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to say anywhere between a Six and a seven point five. I, I I don't know. Let me try another bite here. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I usually don't like to use any. Uh, excuse me. I'm talking with my mouth full. That's probably not very polite. I usually don't like to use any type of you know tartar or anything like that. But tartar seasoning. But I, I actually do like it. I, I imagine with a better cut of filet, I'm assuming with skin on it would be a little bit better. But So anyway, that's pretty much going to conclude today's experiment. Uh, hopefully, um, you guys will go out there and try something new. You know, uh, reach out of your comfort zone. Uh, I know I stutter a lot on camera. I don't know how to edit videos and things of that nature. But basically, the... Uh, the basic concept is here for you to approve or disapprove. So thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.